That should be good. All right, guys. I've been looking at something, and I'm, I'm going to take it. I'm going to steal something from this house. Just don't let anyone know. I don't think anyone will really care, but let me show you something I'm going to take. I'm stealing an idea. I'm not stealing an actual item. So check this out. You see this profile here? I really like the way that looks. It's got this straight piece, comes up about a half inch. Then you've got this belly out, swoop up, and then it goes back up the same other half inch. So we have an idea for back at my house under my laundry room little pedestal that I built. We're gonna make a decorative toe kick and we're gonna do it using this profile here. It's so cool to be working in a house like this because you can steal the ideas and you're not gonna get in trouble. You can just take what you see and apply it to modern day. And obviously, Craftsman of the Past had a really keen eye for stuff that was charming. I really like that piece. So let's head on to my house and make that happen. So we came up a half inch, came over one inch, swooped up, swooped down, up half inch, and then straight across. And those swoops right there, those little curves were made with the top of this three and a half gallon bucket. So I literally just laid this on here, traced it, came over to this side, matched those up, and then traced that out. And I tried it with this one, I tried it with a piece of tape, or a roll of tape rather, that was too small. Tried it with this gallon bucket, that was a little too small too for what I was going for. So it was actually the lid of this that was able to get us that sweep right there. So this height of this piece right here is the exact height of our final toe kick. Um, it's not really even the toe kick, it's just like a applied molding on the toe kick because we already have a toe kick in there. So yeah, this is not gonna our actual piece, this is just our template that we're gonna cut. Our actual piece is going to be this here. This is a um, piece of ash which matches everything that's in there already. Everything's all ash. So this being the same exact size as this, it's gonna allow us to dial this in perfectly. So there's our finished template right there. It's a pretty decent cut. I mean, when I do this on the actual hardwood, I'm gonna go off my pencil line a little bit so I can sand that all down and make it nice and smooth because that's definitely got some roughness to it with the bandsaw. But overall, the profile there, I, I like it. It looks pretty classic, pretty sweet. pretty good overall got the face got the contours of this one part that's hard to get is these little 90s right here so I'm gonna just get a file real quick like a really um, really fine grip file and just clean those up a little bit and then I think we'll throw some finish on it and that thing should be good to go I think so into place about right there so there you have it guys we were able to accomplish stealing this idea and you better believe it if I get to work in more of these houses I'm going to be stealing more ideas 
and then sharing them with you. It's kind of like Pirate Bay. You ever, y'all ever use Pirate Bay where you would download something and upload it for everyone? That's that's what we're doing here. Uh, actually, that's not funny. But in all seriousness, this is actually really cool to be able to take an idea, see it in real life, and I'm a very visual person to the point where if I can see it, I can make it happen. But that about wraps it up for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And if you have any questions or comments, like always, please leave them down below, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.